this is going to be a long one. Well, I mean, I'm just going to go through the whole thing, so however long it takes me to read it. Let's go. This is the Secret Jesuit Leadership Oath. Now, I've gone over the oath within the oath, which is only about a paragraph long, but this is like this whole ritual that they go through, and it's a, a fresh bag of nonsense to digest, but it's it's necessary to, to hear it and understand that this is just like any other oath that any spy in any spy agency in our com country or anyone else uh, takes. Regardless if you believe it or not, it's the facts. They are all modeled after the Jesuits. And this oath, or something even more severe and more drastic, is implemented in all of these little agencies. So, I guess we're just going to kick it off here. Keep in mind, this is, this is going to open up a lot of your eyes. And you're going to see just what the nature is of this uh, counter-reformationist war that is still actively going on, and it seems like it's coming to a head here in uh, our country, United States. So here it goes. Appendix A of this book called The Illuminati Unmasked uh, is The Secret Jesuit Leadership Oath. The following has been taken from the European Institute of Protestant Studies. Protestants are the Reformationists. Were. They've been infiltrated since then, but just when you think Protestant, you think protest. You think Martin Luther. You think 95 Thesis. You think a break away from a very corrupt and horrible, evil church. And then, then you'll have an understanding of where these people are coming from in the Protestant Reformation. And these guys are monitoring the Jesuits, so this is coming out of the European Institute of Protestant Studies. Okay, so when a Jesuit of the minor rank is to be elevated to command, he is conducted into the chapel of the convent of the order, where there are only three others present, there's that number three again, the principal or superior standing in front of the altar, superior with a capital S meaning it's a proper noun to describe this person. On either side stands a monk one of whom holds a banner of yellow and white, which are the papal colors, and the other a black banner with a dagger and red cross, red cross, red cross, you think red, uh, red sign, red shield, red cross, all Rothschild stuff. The red cross has been corrupt ever since its in, uh, inception, so just keeping that aside. Above a skull and crossbones, I guess that would be skull and bones perhaps, I don't know sounds like a pirate to me. With the word I-N-R-I, and below them the words Eustum Necar Regis Impious, and the meaning of which is, it is just to exterminate or annihilate impious or heretical kings, governments, or rulers, according to whom and heretical to what, is what I need to know. Heretical to truth or heretical what you say is truth? Because there's a big fucking difference. Upon the floor is a red cross, again at which the postulant or candidate kneels, the superior, capital S, hands him a small black crucifix, which he takes in his left hand and presses to his heart, and the superior at the same time presents him a dagger, which he grasps by the blade and holds the point against his heart. The superior is still holding it by the hilt and thus addresses the postulant. The superior speaks. My son, heretofore you have been taught to act the dissembler, among Roman Catholics to be a Roman Catholic, and to be a spy even among your own brethren, to believe no man, to trust no man. Among the reformers, the Reformationists, to be a reformer, basically to blend in and gain their trust. Among the Huguenots, to be a Huguenot. Among the Calvinists, to be a Calvinist. Among other Protestants, gener generally to be a Protestant and obtaining their confidence to seek even to preach from their pulpits and to denounce with all the vehemence in your nature our holy religion and the Pope, and even to descend so low as to become a Jew among Jews. You know, this guy is actually basically blowing up his own spot, because this is exactly what Serucci did in his own book. He's totally a Jesuit. Anyway, and even descend as so low as to become a Jew among Jews. Wow, they're racist too that you might be enabled to gather together all information for the benefit of your order as a faithful soldier of the Pope. You have been taught to plant insidiously the seeds of jealousy and hatred between communities, provinces, 
states that were at peace and incite them to deeds of blood involving them in war with each other and to create revolutions and civil wars in countries that were in independent and prosperous. This is what they did in our country and just think, just listen to this. This is the actual system, agenda, and mission of the deep state in our country. Okay? They do this all over the world, but civil wars involving us in fights that we don't belong in, you know, fighting amongst ourselves and having social, you know, disharmony. This is what they do. Cultivating the arts and the sciences and enjoying the blessings of peace to take sides with the combatants and to act secretly with your brother Jesuit who might be engaged on the other side, but openly opposed to that with which you might be connected, only that the church might be the gainer in the end, in the conditions fixed in the treaties for peace, and then that the end justifies the means. Wow, these guys are real sick fucks. You have been taught your duty as a spy to gather all statistics, facts, and information in your power from every source to ingratiate yourself into the confidence of the family circle of Protestants and heretics of every class, they're heretics, right, because they're Protestants, of every class and character, as well as that of the merchant, the banker, the lawyer, among the schools and universities, guys, the schools and universities where they teach our children in parliaments and legislatures, there goes our Congress, whoops, and the judiciaries, oh, there goes all the judges, and councils of state, the Council on Foreign Relations, or the Councils of State, and to be all things to all men, yes, of course, you go are the the be all end all on you, and you want to make everybody love you so that you never are seen for what you are. For the Pope's sake, whose servants we are unto death. You have received all your instructions heretofore as a novice neophyte and have served as a adjurer, confessor, and priest, but you have not yet been invested with all that is necessary to command in the army of Loyola, in great Ignatius Loyola, the Society of Jesus, in the service of the Pope. You must serve the proper time as the instrument and executioner as director by your superiors for none can command here who has not consecrated his labors with the blood of the heretic. So you have to kill people in order to be on, uh, on the top level. For without, So sometimes maybe there's people that are killed or suicided at random because somebody's getting up in the ranks. Think about that. And sometimes it might even be their own people because they are scumbags like that. So that kind of blurs anybody who is investigating them, blurs the lines, because they wouldn't think that would make sense, right? Without the shedding of blood, no man can be saved. That's beautiful. Without the shedding of blood, no man can be saved. Um, therefore, to fit yourself for your work and make your own salvation sure, you will, in addition to your former oath, be obedience to your order and allegiance to the Pope. Repeat after me. I... State your name. Now in the presence of the Almighty God, the Blessed Virgin Mary, which is another heresy right there. You don't you don't pray to you don't pray to saints, you don't pray to, to the Virgin. That's a freaking Catholic thing. That's fucked up. People are not gonna if you believe in the Creator, you don't need people. You don't need to pray to people. This makes no sense. Right there and there. It destroys and nullifies the whole entire thing. Moving on. I, now in the presence of the Almighty God, because you're in, in the presence of the Pope, don't 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 confuse that. The superior, they're, they're seeing that, sort of, that they are the, the embodiment on earth. The blessed St. John the Baptist, the holy apostles, St. Peter and St. Paul, and all the saints, sacred hosts of heaven, and, <clears throat> and to you, my ghostly father, superior general of the Society of Jesus, founded by St. Ignatius Loyola in the pontification of Paul III, and continued to the present to do by the womb of the Virgin, the Matrix of God, and the Rod of Jesus Christ, declare and swear that His Holiness the Pope is Christ's Vice Regent, that makes him an Antichrist, uh, by the way, just so you know, and is the true and only head of the Catholic or Universal Church throughout the earth, and that by the virtue of the keys of binding and losing given to His Holiness by my Savior Jesus Christ, He hath power to dispose heretical kings, princes, states, commonwealths, and governments. What do you think they're doing across the world, guys? And they may be safely destroyed. Therefore, to the utmost of my power, I will defend this... This is Communist Doctrine 101, guys. Therefore, to the utmost of my power, I will defend this doctrine and His Holiness's right and custom against all usurpers of the heretical or Protestant authority, whatever, especially the Lutheran, 
Church of Germany, right, because they don't like Martin Luther. Holland, Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. They're going to put their sights right on those guys. And the now pretended authority and churches of England and Scotland and the branches of same now established in Ireland, on the continent of America, and elsewhere. And all inherits in regard that they may be usurped and heretical opposing the sacred mother church of Rome. As in the Roman Empire, I do now denounce and disown any allegiances as due to any heretical king, prince, or state named Protestant or liberal. Liberal just means freedom, liberating yourself. You understand? It's not liberal as in what we think of liberals now. Or obedience to any of their laws, magistrates, or officers. I do further declare the doctrine of the churches of England and Scotland as of the Calvinists. See, right here he's basically saying that as long as there's other brothers in places and powers and positions, the obedience to any of their laws is they're not going to be. They're going to have a sec they're going to have a um, a double standard. And that what do you think? Why why is anybody in Congress not in jail right now or hanging from a tree? There's your answer. I do further declare the doctrine of the churches of England and Scotland of the Calvinists, Huguenots, and others of the name of Protestants or Masons. They don't like them either to be damnable, and they themselves to be damned who will not forsake the same. I do. So they, it looks, sounds like they give them an out as long as they repent and confess. They'll probably still kill them, but they want to torture them a little bit first. I do further declare that I will help, assist, and advise all or any of His Holiness's agents in any place where I should be in Switzerland, Germany, Holland, Ireland, or America, or in any other kingdom or territory I shall come to, and do my utmost to expatiate the heretical Protestant or Masonic doctrines and to destroy all their pretended powers, legal or otherwise. I do further promise and declare that, notwithstanding, I am dispensed with to assume any religion heretical for the propagation of the mother church's interest, to keep secret and private all her agents councils from time to time as they entrust me, and not to divulge directly or indirectly by word, writing, or circumstances, whatever, to, but to execute all that should be proposed, given in charge, or discovered unto me by you, my ghostly father, or any of this sacred order. I do further promise and declare that I will have no opinion or will of my own. Wow, sounds like they want a fucking drone, huh? Or any... They can make people like that, too, with the trauma-based mind control. I do for the promise and declare that I will have no opinion or will of my own or any mental reservation, whatever, even as a corpse or cadaver, but will unhesitatingly obey each and every command that I may receive from my superiors in the militia of the Pope and of Jesus Christ. Does any of this sound Christian yet? Any of it? Does it sound more militant? Does it sound more like a, like a, a, a very fanatical, crazy, evil fucking band of mercenaries? And of course, spies. That, that I will go to any part of the world, whithersoever I may be sent, to the frozen regions north, jungles of India, to the centers of civilization of Europe, or to the wild haunts of the barbarous savages of America, without murmuring or repining and will be submissive in all things whatsoever is communicated to me. I do further promise and declare that I will, when opportunity presents, this is the part I've read before. This is the part that was pulled out of here to make the, the biggest impact, I guess, bang for, your, bang for your word buck, I guess. I do further promise and declare that I will, when opportunity presents, make and wage relentless war, secretly and openly, against all heretics, Protestants and Masons, as I am directed to do, it also says that my Protestants and liberals sometimes, and that it just means liberty bound people who don't want to be part of the, the tyranny of the church. As I am directed to do, to extirpate them from the face of the whole earth, and that I will spare neither age, sex, nor condition, that I will hang, burn, waste, boil, flay, strangle, and bury alive these infamous heretics, rip up the stomachs and wombs of their women, and crush their infants' heads against the walls in order to annihilate their execrable ex race. Wow, that last part sounds a lot like Planned Parenthood. That when the same cannot be done openly, I will secretly use the poisonous cup, the strangulation cord, the steel, the poignard. They should put in here, like, you know, heart attacking people, because that's, you know, a lot of people die of heart attacks very conveniently. Or the leaden bullet, regardless of the honor, rank, dignity, or authority of the persons, whatever may be their condition in life, either public or private as I at any time may be directed so to do by any agents of the Pope or Superior of the Brotherhood of the Holy Father of the Society of Jesus. Wow. 
Yeah, you know, I must have missed that part when I was going for my communion. I don't remember. I don't remember hearing that one. In confirmation of which, I hereby dedicate my life, soul, and all corporal powers, and with the dagger which I now receive, I will subscribe my name, written in my own blood, in testimony thereof, and should I prove false or weaken in my determination, may my brethren and fellow soldiers of the militia of the Pope cut off my hands and feet and my throat from ear to ear, my belly be opened and sulfur burned therein with all the punishment that can be inflicted upon me on earth, and my soul shall be tortured by demons in eternal hellfire. Hell forever, sorry. Then I will... <laughs> big, big difference, right? Okay, so here's the political dedication that you see of the, the, the Democrats always voting together, right? That I will, in voting, always vote for a Knight of Columbus in preference to a Protestant, especially a Mason, and that I will leave my party so to do that if two Catholics are on the ticket, I will satisfy myself which is the better supporter of Mother Church and vote accordingly. That I will not deal with or employ a Protestant if in my power to deal with or employ a Catholic. That I will place Catholic girls in Protestant families that a weekly report may be made of the inner movements of the heretics. That sounds like DCS, like foster parenting. That I will provide myself with arms and ammunition that I may be in the readiness when the word is passed, or I am commanded to defend the church either as an individual or with the militia of the Pope. And of which I, state your name, do swear by the blessed Trinity and blessed sacrament, which I am now to receive, to perform, and on part to keep this my oath. In testimony hereof, I take this most holy and blessed sacrament of the Eucharist, and witness the same further with my name, written with the point of this dagger, dipped in my own blood, and sealed in the face of this holy sacrament. He receives a wafer from the superior, and writes his name with the point of his dagger, dipped in the, his own blood, taken from over his heart. Superior speaks. Now this is the other guy. The guy doing the uh, initiation. You will now rise to your feet, and I will instruct you in the catechism necessary to make yourself known to any member of the Society of Jesus belonging to this, mark, to this rank. In the first place, you, as a brother Jesuit, will with another mutually make an ordinary sign of the cross as any ordinary Roman Catholic would. Then one crosses his wrists and palms of his hands open, and the other, in answer, crosses his feet. This is where it turns into the Macarena, guys. Just give it, a, get, 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 let it, let it get through this, and uh, you, you'll you'll be able to do the the Roman Catholic Jesuit Macarena too. Above one, the other, the first, <laughs> the first points with four fingers over the right hand to the center of the palm of the left. The other with the forefinger of the left hand points to the center of the palm of the right. The first then with his right hand makes a circle around his head. Wow. Touching it. The other then with the forefinger of his left hand touches the left side of his body just below his heart. The first then with his right hand draws it across the throat of the other and the latter then with a dagger down, in, down the stomach and abdomen of the first. The first then says... Um, Eustum, and the other answers Nekar, the, the first Regis, the other answers Impius, which is INRI. The first will then present a small piece of paper folded in a peculiar manner four times, <laughs> now they're passing notes to, to their gay asshole friends, which the other will cut longitudinally and on, and on opening the name Jesu will be found, written upon the head of and arm of a cross three times. You will then give and receive with him the following questions and answers. From whither do you come? Answer. The Holy Faith. Whom do you serve? Answer. Satan. No. The Holy Father at Rome, the Pope, and the Roman Catholic Church, universal throughout the world. So, not, not Satan, but the, the Antichrist. Who commands you? Answer. The successor of St. Ignatius Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus, or the soldiers of Jesus Christ. Yeah, except Jesus is, doesn't have anything to do with these assholes. Who received you? Answer. A venerable man in the white hair. How? Answer. With a naked dagger, I kneeling upon the cross beneath the banners of the Pope and of our sacred order. Did you take an oath? See, beneath the banners of the Pope. That bitch of the Pope is there often. Since he's a Jesuit now. Did you take an oath? Answer. I did, to destroy heretics and their governments and rulers, and to spare neither age nor sex nor condition to be as a course without any opinion or will of my own, but to implicitly obey my 
superiors in all things without hesitation or murmuring. Will you, will you do that? Answer. I will. How do you travel? Answer. And the bark of Peter the fisherman. This is this does have parallels to the some of the Freemasonic stuff. Whither do you travel? Answer. To the four quarters of the globe. For what purpose? Answer. To obey the orders of my general and superiors and execute the will of the Pope and faithfully fulfill the conditions of my oath. Go ye then into all the world and take possession of all the lands in the name of the Pope. He who will not accept him as the vicar of Jesus and his vice regent on earth, let him be accursed and exterminated. Well, wasn't that fun? Wasn't that lovely? So, that should give you some kind of uh, understanding as to what the deep state is, what controls things behind the scenes, why they're so fanatical about it, what they're doing to poison other people's minds to get a bunch of minions to bitch and moan and talk about climate change and all this other bullshit, you know, whittling away with the racism stuff, and then just getting into power and making the very worst decisions possible for our country so that it doesn't prosper, so that it does sink, and then move all the industry over to China where they actually are established very well, and they already have the despot society, you know, they already have the dystopia that they want over there, so everything's all set up in China. We're, we're, kind, of a, we're kind of in the way right now, and uh, they've hated us for quite some time, since our inception, and uh, it's really ramping up now, so things will be interesting, but those, that's the hearts and minds of Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, you know, Adam, you know, descendant of Jacob Schiff, the guy who sold out our country and, and stole our monetary system forever. All these fuckers, all these fuckers are part of this system. Uh, Brennan, Brennan is absolutely 100%. That's, that's confirmed. But anyway, now that you know, now you know what to look for. Thanks.